This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Wooldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. And welcome back to Strictly Business. I'm Nathan Ali, Manager of Government Affairs at the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Bakersfield's no stranger to attracting major conventions and sporting events to the area. And here to explain what it takes to bring in these large-scale events is David Lyman. He's the manager of the Bakersfield Convention and Visitors Bureau. Good morning, David. Good morning, Nathan. So we had a busy weekend earlier this month with the uh, the CIF High School Wrestling Championships over at Robo Bank in uh, the March meet at, at Famoso Raceway. What kind of impact do those big sporting events have uh, for local business? Yeah, it was a great weekend. We've all slept since then. <laughs> uh, uh, but it was a great weekend. Um, each of those events, uh, CIF Wrestling and March Meet, by themselves, mm-hmm. individually, could sell out Bakersfield. Oh, wow. Having them both on the same weekend, there were no hotel rooms for a long way away. The <laughs> ones in Delano were filled, Tehachapi were filled, uh, Lebec were filled. Um, so what that means is great news for hotels, right? Uh, great news for restaurants, and all of those dollars are staying in our community. Sure. I'll give you a, a little anecdote. We had a information table at the CIF Wrestling, mm-hmm. and Friday, a lady came up to me and I said, uh, do you have a map? I said, well, sure. What can I help you find? I need a hotel room. And I looked at her, I looked at her, I said, Good luck with that. You don't have a hotel room? No. So I went on to Hotel Tonight, the little app on my phone. Sure. And I found one room that was listed at $400. Oh, wow. So that will give you an indication of uh, <laughs> supply supply, and how demand. supply and demand works sure. when those large events are in Bakersfield. Well, it's good that uh, we just talked in our last segment about the uh, new hotels that are under construction yes. in town, so that'll certainly help with the inventory. Yes, That's for next year we will, have, we will have some more hotel rooms online. So definitely an impact to the hospitality industry, but uh, what about the community impact as a whole? Of well, not just the hospitality thing? industry, I'll be honest with you. When we have that information table, mm-hmm. um, it's pretty much we're there to help them spend their money. Oh, yeah. And one of the first things they want to know is where to go to eat. And so restaurants were very busy that weekend. And then there's all those other things that they do while they're in town. And it's just not that weekend they're in town, but many people come back through often. And many of them told us, we've never stopped in Bakersfield before. Mm -hmm. Now they know what to see and do, and they will be back and be able to spend their money. So it's that long-term effect as well. That's great. And I know that uh, the CIF Wrestling Championships have been here for a long time, many years. Yes. Uh, and have signed an extension through 2020. Is that correct? Yes. All for right. Five years. <laughs> all, all the other um, bids have been through for three years. This is the first time we got a five year, so that we were very, very pleased and honored to be able to continue to host CIF. Sorry, Ontario. Is that right? Uh, we never talk bad about the competition. <laughs> we're always glad to have CIF. And because they've been here since 2004, we like to think that we've been doing something very well. Absolutely. What, is that, uh, what does that mean for the local economy over the next five years? Well, obviously, it's that spending money. But more importantly, it helps to plan. Mm-hmm. When we have a group that's just in town for X weekend on one year, that's great. But we have no guarantee they'll be here that weekend the next year. But for the next five years... Hotels, restaurants, everybody else can plan that that event will be in Bakersfield. Uh, So it helps us to smooth things out. Um, It it allows us to um, make sure that if there are events that want to attract those those uh, that audience, they can be planning for that weekend as well. But again, it's pretty much just planning. So if you can take us behind the scenes a little bit, what what's the process that the steps involved in getting a large event like this to come to Bakersfield? Each one of those events is different. Mm-hmm. This one they sent out a request for proposal, and we submitted a proposal. And I don't know what happens behind the curtain at CIF, but we put what we think is our our best foot forward. Um, we t- uh, outline all the advantages, and again, the two big advantages that Bakersfield has for attracting large events is our central location, mm-hmm. especially for high school wrestling. You know, there are high school students, there are schools, budgets are limited, so to be able to be in a close proximity to most of the people in California is tremendous. And also the cost. Uh, the hotel cost uh, for rooms in Bakersfield is about 40% less than the state average. Oh, wow. So location and price those two factors continue to put Bakersfield at the top. And I'm sure that our, our venues have something to do with oh, that Oh, absolutely. As well. The Rabobank Arena and Convention Center is outstanding for this type of event. And they've come back um, since 2004. And again, they'll be here through at least uh, 2020. 
Okay. So not not just the wrestling, not just the March meet. What are what are some other venues that are popular for this type of uh, of, of event here in okay. Bakersfield? The good thing, about, one of the many uh, good things about Bakersfield is that we have a variety of venues mm-hmm. to attract a variety of events, all different sizes. We have Mesa Marin Sports Complex, which is very very popular for softball tournaments and others from state and regional groups. We have the State's Farm Sports Village. We have the Kern County Soccer Park. We have the Kern County Fairgrounds, uh, just to name a few. Uh Um, And so we're very fortunate that we are not just a one-trick pony, but we are able to provide a variety of venues and go after a lot of different kind of events, all sizes. So I know that there's a formula where they they talk about how a dollar that's spent in a community turns over a certain number of times. How does that work, and what... uh you know, from a dollars and cents standpoint, what are we looking at in terms of a, an economic boost for something? Um, like I don't have the numbers yet for the ones for this weekend, but we do calculate what a party spends, and it's about $172 a, a night. Um, the party is 2.3 people. So we use that as a conservative uh, number to be able to calculate the economic benefit. We usually look at that also as a way to calculate the transient occupancy tax that sure. is being calculated because uh, that keeps us going. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I understand that your, your CVB was uh, recently named by Sports Venue Publication, uh, a reader's choice. So what does that mean? Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, that, that. was a great award. Thank you. Um, this was an award from uh, Sports Events Magazine, mm-hmm. and it was a reader's choice award, and it was, in essence, a reader's poll from uh, sports meeting planners. And they were asked to identify those communities that were innovative and in bringing events there and being able to provide excellent customer service. And it's a tip-off to our sales manager, Matt Billingsley, who crisscrosses this country uh, selling Bakersfield to sports planners. And we were only one of three communities in California to receive that prestigious award. So we're very, very pleased with it. Oh, that's outstanding. Yeah. Ah, so, and, and then you kind of combine this with... Uh, you know, things like the Condors moving up to the American Hockey League. You combine it with uh, some of the big concerts that are coming to the arena, uh, Fleetwood Mac, the Eagles, and so on and so forth. So really, Bakersfield really continues to get put on the map, wouldn't you say, as a as sure a, as an entertainment destination? Well, entertainment and sports and meetings, um, you know, we, we talked about CIF and March Meet last weekend. The weekend before was the winter showdown at the Kern County Raceway Park was a kickoff for that season, and we had people from all throughout the country, both uh, racers and teams. Uh Uh, Later this month, we'll have the Bakersfield Fiesta, which is a square dancing extravaganza. This will be their 47th or 48th year in Bakersfield, bringing people from at least 11 different states in Canada. Uh, We also have the Sweet Adelines, the regional conference, and they've been here periodically. We now have them signed through the year 2019. Mm. And that's just in March. Next month, we've got the Cali Finale, which is a large cheerleading uh, event at Rabobank Arena. Okay. And I have hotel people telling me that that's actually a larger event for hotels than CIF Boys Wrestling. Really? That'll give you some indication. <laughs> wow. Later in the month is the National Street Rod Association. They've been here for 30-odd years. And that'll be at the Kern County Fairgrounds. And you'll see all those cool old cars going around town. Okay. And that's through April. And then, of course, starting in um, May, we'll have the Jehovah's Witness Watchtower Convention. And they book Bakersfield for six weekends throughout the summer, and each of those brings about six thousand delegates to Bakersfield. Wow! So just it's a twelve month thing, all all year round. But we're always looking for more, and okay. for those residents and uh, businesses who are part of larger statewide regional organizations, we want you to bring your groups to Bakersfield and give us a call eight five two seven two eight two, and we'll be happy to work with you to put a proposal together to help bring those people to Bakersfield and help them spend their money. Boy, tourism really does impact all all interests of a, all aspects yes. of a community. Tourism is it? an integral part of our economic development plan here. Okay. Um, so it really just it's interesting at, at how how this works, you know, coming from a smaller area of Kern County, I come from Eastern Kern and Ridgecrest and, and we you know we look at our off roading and things like that mm-hmm. as a as a draw to the community. And it's amazing to just see how much more there is over in in this side of Kern County just on a regular basis. Sure. Well our our slogan at the Bakersfield C V B is more to explore. Mm-hmm. And we find that people, when they come to our office and learn about Bakersfield, there actually is more to explore. Their eyes get really big and it's not a matter of what can I do? It's what can't I do that I will have to come back later and experience. So well, we do and, have a lot. And that's the key point is, you know, it, it gets them coming back uh, a chance to uh, to visit our area again. And I know that, 
you know, you, you, you come into Bakersfield and, and depending on which area you come in, it's, you know, you, you only see a small segment of, uh, of our area. And it, it just really is interesting and, and great to hear that, uh, that the CIF Wrestling Championships are coming back for another five years. Yes, and we're happy to have them. Um, we will be the home of CIF Boys Wrestling through 2020. And that also helps us to go out and attract other groups because we have them as another on our list of many satisfied customers. So talking about just kind of getting back to the hotels and whatnot, just thinking about some of the, um, the growth that we know is coming in the hotel industry. Is, do we need more? Is, is our inventory adequate to, to continue to meet these events? Or is three more hotels, is, is that going to help? Or we, what, what else do we need here? Well, I will leave that to the private sector. That's a private sector <laughs> uh, discussion. We have several developers that have decided that this is a hot market and they are either building or under construction or in plan. So whatever those rooms are and wherever they are, we will make sure and promote them and add them to our inventory um, so we can attract more people. A lo- we have everything from events that are coming for several days to those people who are just stopping from point A to point B. And the more things that we have to offer, the better it is for the consumer, the better it is for Bakersfield. Okay. So what, uh, in the future, just from your perspective, what would you like to see uh, from a tourism and and convention standpoint? I'd like to see people in Bakersfield um, help bring their groups that they're members of to Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. So whether it's your church group, whether it's your Rotary or Kiwanis group, whether it's your National Association of fill-in-the-blank, All of them have regional meetings. All of them have state meetings. And most times they decide where they're going to meet because someone in that organization says, come to my hometown. So for those people who are in Bakersfield that are members of those organizations, we want you to bring that group to your hometown. Be an advocate for Bakersfield. Be an advocate. Be an ambassador. And I'll be honest with you. We have people that visit, and they say Bakersfield people are really nice. They always feel welcome when they come to our community. Mm -hmm. And that's just uh, something that uh, we always look forward to showcasing when visitors come because they will be made to feel welcome, and they will always want to come back. Right. And, you know, we have television shows that will showcase our restaurants, as we've had most recently. And all of those things, I guess, just play a bigger part of the tourism puzzle. Is that, right? that was an interesting part of, for Guy Fieri at the CIF Wrestling. We had the information booth, as I mentioned. And I said, well, you know, Guy Fieri did a show. <laughs> really? And they wanted to know what restaurants. And there were two being shown that evening and right. had not been shown on national television. Right. And I had several people say, tell me where those are. I want to go there before... It's on national television. Oh yeah, because so, it was just that that weekend, wasn't right. it? Right, but yeah. we also have we also have a lot of food tourism. Bakersfield has a lot of great restaurants that attract people from out of the community, mm-hmm. not just our Basque restaurants, but the uh, burgeoning restaurant scene downtown, and some also some other uh, out of the way, hole in the wall places. So we continue to get a lot of people to come for our restaurants. And again, when they're stopping, they may just be stopping for a half a day. They may just be stopping for an hour. They always have to eat. <laughs> That's right. And so it's not just hotels, it's restaurants, it's stores. They oftentimes need to need to buy a sandwich, they need to go buy a sweatshirt, they need to do whatever. So there are those dollars that are constantly being spent. And, circulating and the good thing the about community. tourism dollars is they drop them very readily. When you go out of town, don't you tend to spend money? Yeah. Yes, of, of course you do. Well, my, my wife more so than I, but okay. yes, yes. Yes, so. so you know the lesson. So we're That's looking right. for ways to help people spend their money in Bakersfield. Great. David Lyman, Bakersfield Convention and Visitors Bureau, thanks so much. Nathan, thanks for your opportunity today. Right. We'll take a quick break and be right back after this with more Strictly Business. Stay tuned. <laughs> 